Hi everyone, this is Audie from Health and Happiness. On today's Please Explain, we're going to dive into leaky gut syndrome. So let's take a look at the gut. It includes the large intestines, which absorbs the water from the waste. The small intestines absorbs most of the nutrients from the food that we eat and drink. And the rectum, which provides a temporary storage for the feces until it's time to eliminate. So what happens with leaky gut is that the normally tight junctions in between the cells and the lining of the intestines relax, allowing greater permeability. So the inner membrane, which comes in contact with the stool, is unable to properly absorb the nutrients and exclude toxic elements. Toxins will then end up moving into the body, causing inflammation by triggering the immune system. Some diseases associated with leaky gut, also known as intestinal permeability, include irritable bowel disease, Crohn's disease, arthritis, skin conditions including eczema, acne, dermatitis, behavioral disorders, food allergies, nerve and brain function disorders, hormonal imbalances, and many more as the studies are ongoing. Some of the causes of leaky gut include medications, specifically antibiotics, smoking, vitamin deficiencies, unhealthy microbiome in the gut, and poor diet. So an excess of gluten in the diet is very irritable for the bowels for many people. Processed foods, which are high in trans fats, preservatives, additives, and low in nutrients are also contributors. Here are some suggestions to treat leaky gut. Eliminating the overly processed foods from your diet. They tend to be high in calories and low in nutrition. Limiting the amount of gluten that we take. And increasing the amount of vegetables and fruit. There are some studies that report seven cups per day for providing enough vitamins, roughage, and other nutrients for the body. Broths have been found to be very helpful for someone experiencing leaky gut, whether it's beef broth, chicken, miso soup, or vegetable broth. They're very soothing to the linings of the intestine. Fermented foods also helped to maintain a healthy microbiome. So this would include grass-fed whole milk yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, and other fermented foods. Citrus fruits that are high in vitamin C can be very helpful as well. There are some herbs that can be used to help to treat leaky gut. They include plantain, comfrey, blackberry leaf, marshmallow root, and many more. Regular exercise brings energy and blood flow into the digestive system, allowing them to work properly and be much more healthy. Some supplements that are suggested include vitamin C, vitamin B1, or a B complex, which is a combination of all the vitamin Bs in their proper proportions. Well, I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, we'll dive into another fascinating healthy related topic. This is Audie signing off, hoping that you are all healthy and happy.